Hello there, this project is what I like to call the MIPS Disassembler. This was a project that is recently finished for my computer architecture class this spring 2017 semester. But the idea behind it is I want to take an input file that's assembled MIPS code, for example here, the sample file, and these have lines of 32-bit binary numbers. Each of these lines represent an instruction in MIPS, and what I like to do is convert this back into the assembly variant with the rushers and the immediates and etc and show that I can disassemble this back into the assembly code. So by referencing the MIPS instruction set manual, if I go down to page 46, this will have the add immediate instruction for example. I use this instruction to test out the first initial lines of code. So I'm looking for the opcode, uh, the, the first six bits, 001000, which you can see that right here, 001000, followed by the source, the target, and the immediate. And you also have that format. So what I'll be doing in the program is I will be reading through each of these lines, converting it, converting it back into the MIPS assembly version. And the way it's going to look is I'm going to take the program is going to print the original binary or original binary line, followed by a address. We started off with nine four ninety six, followed by the assembly instruction, whatever register comma the next register, and then if it's immediate or if not, there we go. So this is the format I'm looking to convert this machine code back into. So by deleting this, so we can clear this up. Don't save. And lastly, if we encounter a break anywhere in here, we will convert that break that break back back to the instruction. But any number or any line of code after that is going to be converted into a two's complement version. It's no longer going to convert it back into a MIPS assembly instruction. So with that, let's test out this code. No, don't save. So we have a MIPS, we have the assembly code right here. So I'm going to say assembled code.txt. There we go. This was just some error checking that I did originally. So we found a break right here. And with this, we're going to be, the rest of the numbers are just going to be two's complement versions. So with that, I have this disassembled code right here. And there we go. So this line represents the add, the add immediate with the registers and the immediate. And going down, we have a few loads and a few stores. Uh, branch equals. Right here, we have a break. So anything after this break, these binary numbers are just going to represent the two's complement version. So all zeros is obviously zero. This goes down into negative one. We have some large numbers here. And you can see that the address increments also. So that's a really cool thing to do. I tested it out with a few thousands of lines of code, but it takes a while to compile. But it's a pretty neat project, and I do plan on taking this a little bit further. But thanks for listening, and feel free to let me know if you have any questions.